Coach Storney Allo, interim head coach, Northwestern. Uh, first off, Zertzis falls in the final to Sorensen. I think I've seen that movie play out a lot, what we saw there. Yep. Always a tight match, yep. loses in overtime. When you guys go into that bout, you know, what are you looking for there out of Jason? Uh, well, I mean, it's always going to be, uh, or it's always been a one takedown match with those two guys. So you know it's going to be tight and there's no room for error. So Jason's got a whole position. He needs to try to force the offense, which he did. And uh, I'm proud of the way he competed. I think he wrestled a better match out there. Uh, we made a mistake and it cost us, but I think in the long run, he's going he's gonna to be the better wrestler. Looking at the situation you were handed, you know, a, a late, you know, Drew is not the coach. He's fired to start in November, end of October, November? Uh, very end of October. Very end of October. And that's going right into the open season to start a competition right at the end of preseason. They name you interim. You know, Drew's not here. First off, can you talk about what happened with Drew? Is that something that you're at liberty to talk about? No, I mean, really, there's a lot of stuff there that I, I don't know or that I, I can't say. So I mean, that's a question for Drew and the administration. Looking at the situation you were handed, though, I don't know if a lot of people know this. What is the roster cap here at Northwestern? We're, we're capped to 25 kids, um, and we're, we're below that limit right now. Uh, that's something that it, building up the roster is it's a challenge at Northwestern. It's expensive school to go to, it's tough to get into, but at the same time, that's that's what our job is, uh, to fill that roster out, and that's priority number one right now uh, for recruiting. Yeah, we had a really good recruiting class with the, really good recruiting class with the four guys we signed in the fall, it was 10th ranked recruiting class in the country, and now in the, uh, the spring we're going to add a, try to add a few more guys and try to get a little bit of depth. You get a year-long interview, essentially. Yes. You do, the year interim, I mean, it, it's not certain if you're going to be the next head coach or not. You don't know that. Um, you might, I don't know, but I look at it as an interview. Do you look at this like it's an interview and, and I got to do my best? And, and I think it's what you're doing as an assistant, but is that something, you know, what's the thought process for you? Absolutely. Uh, this is, it's a great opportunity for me and I'm extremely excited about it. Uh, like you said, it, it's about the longest interview I could possibly have and, and I think it puts me in a good position. I've been in Northwestern now, this is my seventh year here. I, I know how this place operates. Uh, I, I know the administration, I, I know the co-workers here, and I know the team. Um, I know the type of guys that we need, and I think things are going Looking at, you know, you, we got Ric Flair behind us. Looking at you to try and, you know, be the guy to win this, to get the job, what, what do you gotta do? What, what is the, what's the thought process for you every day when you come in? What's the thought every morning? Uh, it's about the guys. Um, it's about having their experience and, and getting them everything that they need and, and keeping them happy and progressing on the mat and in the classroom. Uh, and really that's it. Injuries, that's something you just absolutely cannot control. No. Injuries are completely out of control. No Johnny Sebastian, shoulder surgery. Um, Brill, we don't even know what's gonna happen with Brill. Are, are we, is that something, are we gonna see Brill anymore? Uh, I, I don't know if we'll see Bryce again this year. That's something that we should know here pretty soon. Um, and and yeah, it's, it's been a rough year with injuries, and like you said, there's nothing we can do about that. Try to stay positive and focus on the things that are within our control. But it's, it's tough, uh, especially when you lose guys that are as good as Bryce and Sebastian, they're extremely talented wrestlers. Some of the best kids coming out of high school a year ago, and they're some of the best kids in college already. And when you lose guys like that, it's it's tough to bounce back, especially when your roster is is only just under 20 kids on the year. It's it's tough, and eight kids are true freshmen, and it, there's not a lot of room for error there. Oster, Oster uh, weighed in. Russell right. injured, defaulted. What's going on with Oster? Oster, he. Uh, he got hurt towards the end of his first match. He was able to finish the match and, and get the win, but uh, had an MRI today. We'll, we'll know more in a few days, and hopefully he's uh, he's back there pretty soon. But again, it's it's unfortunate. There's not it's frustrating. There's nothing we can do about it. Looking at I've looked at some of your dual scores. I've seen as many as three forfeits. You know, and then we're talking about a team with 18 guys on the roster, and I just named three guys who are wrestling. Mm -hmm. What is the challenge and how do you feel the full roster with 18 guys and what are the, you know, is this something where the administration has to lift the cap? What, what, what do you do? What's your solution? No, I, I don't think, I don't think this is an issue with the administration. I think this is, it's, to be honest, it's an issue with us and we need to fix it. And, and that's, like I said, number one priority in recruiting right now is, is adding depth to that roster and getting us up to that, that 25 mark. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a challenge, but we, we've been there before and we'll be there again. I'm confident that we can, we can get a full roster of 25 guys and, and add depth so that we're not one deep at every weight and relying on a true freshman. We have to pull them out, and that's a tough situation as a coach. You know, I, 
I know that fans and some uh, critics in the media don't like seeing forfeits. And as a coach, I don't, I don't like having to give other teams forfeits. It, it's sunk us in every match that we wrestled this year other than Ohio State. All, all our first five matches, our first four losses were all within a one match swing. And you know, we're missing our national champ. We're missing uh, Jacob Berkowitz, 197, returning All-American from University Nationals, and uh, and obviously Bryce Brill. So when, when you're going into matches down anywhere from six to 18 to nothing, it's tough to get those wins. And while the record doesn't look like Northwestern's doing very well on the mat, if you watch the matches and you see the way the guys are competing individually, we're in a decent spot. Guys are wrestling well, they're competing well, and and uh, there's a high level of energy in the room. Morale's up. Uh, they're competing hard out there on the mat in competition, and, and I'm, I like what I see when they're on the mat. It's just we haven't had enough guys to, to put on the mat to win those goal meets. Coach Sturdy, we got some guys coming here celebrating. I got some other guys to do some interviews. You got anything else with me for me before we before I take off? It's tempting, but no. Nothing else? No. Hey, Maybe next time. Hey, yeah. thanks for the time. Good luck, springtime. When it, you know when you're going for the ultimate goal, so you take the interim off the the head coach for you. All right, coach. Appreciate it.